months, but again, it covers, uh, you know, historians study like 30, 40 years, uh, pile up 2,000 books, and then give lectures so about those. So, yeah, ask questions all the time, we'll be asking you guys questions, um, you know, just use that. Alright, so, go to, um, just a cross-section of the pineal, go ahead. This in the picture here. Yeah. All right. So, first point of this, uh, this has phrase as a question. Does anyone know that um, you know millions of years ago, thousands of years ago, it's, it's all written in stone in Egypt that people had hyperdimensional knowledge of everything to do with our physical universe and every other. Yes. People know that. I Nick, you're not the only one. Is that common knowledge? That's a theory. Me. It's not a theory because there's a lot of proof. All right, so look at this picture. Can you kind of center it? Can you, can you center it on the... There? Oh, we need the whole head. Just get the whole head really quickly. Sorry, the um, computer had to be shut off, so I had all these images ready, but we have to get them, we have to get them again. So it has to be live now, because we don't have time. Um, there's some cool dudes in the back. All right, yeah, pick, pick the glowy blue one. That's fine. <laughs> This one's kind of funny. But it's true at the same time. You can also just get any, um, you know, neuroscience like article on the same image. Can you put it back on? Yep. All right. So uh, basically, the main thing I'm going to use for this is to explain how not only is the geometry of every structure we live in and draw in that shapes all of our thoughts uh, explained through like all these you know Egyptian glyphs that are supposedly theories and whatnot, but. Um, <laughs> If you look at the geometry of it, if you look at the numbers and science involved, it's called geomantria, um, which is what the whole, like, I don't know if there's any, like, conspiracy heads in the audience or anything like that. But you know how people get all, like, spooked out about the masons and shit? Oh, like, oh, the masons are doing stuff. Okay, well, the science of all that is based off, based off of this Egyptian science. That's why you see the symbology everywhere. It makes you think a specific way. And it uh, draws specific chemical uh, reactions to, through this part of your brain, which is your pineal gland. Um, the science of all this is explained in mainly mythology, in uh, books like the Bible, where when you study the etymology, you realize that it's not actually just mythology, it's a science of numbers. And uh, so they use images and certain sounds to reincarnate the same information, or to uh, reincarnate the word I want to use, but um, to channel the information forward in time, uh, for us, in a specific reason. Can you pull up the cross-section of the Great Pyramids? This is kind of, um, you know, a lot of scientists try to like, prove or disprove this for, you know, hours and hours, but... Just to demonstrate it, we'll um, pull up a picture and it'll demonstrate for you how all the geometry of ancient Egypt is based off of it, but their calculus and brain. Um, can you make this one smaller? And make the other one smaller and just kind of bring them together? Again, I had images ready, I had this just overlaid, and you realize that all the chambers, all the actual chambers of the castle, or I mean of the uh, Great Pyramid, and the angles at which um, you access them correspond to specific um, systems and processes in your brain. Pineal brain is located here. This is actually a front cross-section compared to a side cross-section, which makes it kind of hard to understand. Back up on this one and get the one on the... Uh... Here you go back. Yeah, and just get any one where there's something like this facing to the right. So this is kind of cool because it also shows you how like, easily accessible this information is. Um, but it demonstrates a lot of things. The science to everything that like really governs 
everything and controls everything uh, in our dimension. Um, so, um, did anyone see the internet flyer for this? We wrote this lecture. Did anyone see any kind of title for what this lecture is going to be about? All right. So, okay, there's, this will explain the whole science of, we have to be facing to the right. Or the front. Do you remember when I said that a minute ago? It's, yeah. um, all right, so the science of the rest of that, of how your body works, the mechanics of how these chemicals flow through your body. Go back to the top. This one right here. Um, yeah, this is about chakras and the seven seals and all that stuff, and photons and magnetism. Uh, the reason why all that's important is because does anyone know what the, what's happening to the magnetism on the planet right now? It's going to flip. But what does that mean that it's happening to it right now? I mean, it's going to flip. It's not flipped yet. But what's happening right now? And how does it affect? Do you know what? What? I don't know. Do you know what it means happens once it flips? Because we're fucked. Okay. But why are we fucked? Everything's going to be upside down. No. Close? Is that anybody else have any idea? All right. Well, put them side by side. So, uh, the magnetism on the planet right now is one of the actual causes of global warming. It's one of the actual causes why they won't show you things like you know, the suicide rate right now, why people are just acting crazy in general. And um, what happens to the magnetism on the, with the electromagnetic frequencies on the planet uh, every 25 and 26,000 years, which um, also the zodiac depicts, and that's how the design for your, the watch and the clock came up. So it's this, uh, a skill we're operating by at all times. Um, this is all invented in ancient Egypt using the science of the mind. Now if you shrunk this image a little bit, you'd see that uh, pineal gland uh, and the king's chamber are perfectly aligned. Um, you see how the king's chamber, not only is it, you know, it's, it's like 200 million years old, uh, this construction. Um, every block, you know, is incredibly heavy and it fits like to a thin fraction of a hair. It's like information people need to know. But they did that in a way that aligned specifically to the hypothalamus, the pineal and pituitary glands. And the relationship between each chamber that's inscribed in uh, you know, magical texts, uh, hieroglyphs, um, songs, metanetter, everything that all of our language is based off of. So they cause these symbols to be repeated throughout you know, the next 25,000 years. Um, corresponds to a, spe a specific cerebral fluid, a specific nerve, and a um, specific function, a specific set, uh, perception that happens in your mind. So what happens when you're doing something like watching TV or just walking around is the images around you that go in your eye uh, re-invoke all these shapes because everything is based on like all the all the um, the science for all this, the geometry, the, the visualizations for all this. Go to uh, Dendera. Yeah, it's all based off, yeah, go back to that, that was a good one. Yeah, it's all based off of specifically what glands do what and where. And the language to describe all this, uh, which you have to know in order to stay on the planet once the magnetism switches, is enclosed and cloaked with all these symbols that you have to learn. But it's cool because all the information is really accessible through YouTube because it's the age of information. This is the age of revealing. You can go to the Steeler, Steeler Revealing. Okay. S-T-E-L-E of Revealing. Um, and basically, this is like all you need. This is like everyone who controls the world uses this science. That's why the Masons are a group. Uh, the whole point of this is that it's using geometry and building structures. You have to build all of this, uh, which is symbolic to the fact that this planet was built by aliens, which is a science you also understand uh, once you get deeper into this. Um, so the bigger cults, i.e., like Scientology, and really everything that a bunch of people are like, you know, they believe in it. They, you know, think it for no other reason. They're just like into whatever for you know, this stuff, everything, um, is based off of a different interpretation of these. The thing is, though, once you understand that the science of this is all included within mythology, within things like the Bible and the etymology and the science of the numbers that led to those words being picked, which is what the Kabbalah is all about, um, then you understand how to control everything, control people's minds, control the entire universe. If you don't understand this by 2012, that electromagnetic fields will switch on the planet 
because we'll be reaching a place called Ga uh, Galactic Center Point, which the ancient Egyptians mapped out, and which exists depicted in a similar way in only two places in this country for uh, a very special reason about this country. That'll, again, determine what you have to do to survive on the planet uh, past 2012. I was uh, trying to rush at the time. Oh, Dendera, D-E-N-D-E-R-A, Zodiac. Um, hey, Gerald. Yeah. Can I How ask much? you about the Mayans? The Mayans? Yeah. Yeah, what do you want to know about the Mayans? Well, just All right, so, okay, the Mayans going to prove this, too. Yeah, people are interested in the Mayans in general. Yeah. Tupac Amaro is the dude you need to know about down there, right? So Tupac is you know, based off of him. That's another... Uh, people say Tupac Shakur is like an, a reincarnation of that same energy. What happened with Tupac Amaru, and this is, again, this is... Thing, you can just Google this if you want to. Uh, after you do, if, if you can get Dendera, Zodiac, where, um, get a clear one. Do you need sound or you just need pictures? No, I don't need sound. Okay. Okay, so what this depicts, if you can get a clear image. Okay, I'll try. What this depicts is our entire galaxy and the rate at which we um, progress through it. Uh, the manner in which we do that, I'll have to get into later, is very important because it determines how you have to actually think to make all these changes happen. Um, so again, this image is obviously super old. It's like at least 200 million years old. Um, you know what I'm saying? We learn things in science class. There's a repre uh, representation that was used for basically, basically every mythology, pretty much every fairy tale you ever heard. But it was reinterpreted to make you think a certain way. Um, and it's still how all the shows are based off of. Uh, there's all this, this is all based on Kabbalah, which is again the science of numbers. Um, which understanding, the understanding of which allows you to build structures, create symbols, create tones that give you the power to control your mind in a way that will again allow you to mutate forward and uh, remain alive, essentially, after 2012. So here they have um, every symbol of pretty much every pantheon it orig orig originates, and this is from uh, this image, from a temple in Vendera, and closed with a symbol of the zodiac. These are all magical symbols. When you see any of these images, it becomes a chemical that's transformed in your pineal gland and the angles, and you can find which chemical does what by looking at the etymology of all these terms and to really understand how each of them works, to understand how your brain truly works, you have to understand all of this, uh, and that will allow you to mutate, mutate forward and adapt to the changes that are happening in 2012. Um, and again, you have to consider, obviously, it's going to be very difficult. So this is actually a sort of serious thing, because you, you really, you literally won't be able to survive. But what happens when, right now, the magnetic field of the Earth is around uh, 11 hertz. So 2012, um, I can get into why that, that specific date is significant also, you know, in a minute if anyone's interested. Uh, but by 2012, the magnetic field of the Earth will have raised to a rate of 13 um, hertz. 13, you know what I'm saying, it's like a big, bad, uh, like bad luck type number. But again, that's just an example of a tradition that was taken from this to keep you um, in a state of fear, essentially, from knowing the true information. Um, and this is the symbology of every single thing around you, it's in the science of everything around you. If you use these syllables, if you use these terms, if you understand that, you know, say, for example, I'm a Gemini, um, my constellations over, well, what's more important than my birthday is wherever you are in the galaxy right now, which is like, right there. Right there. And um, what happens when we reach the next age is we reach the galactic center, which means we'll be in the direct uh, light of the center of the galaxy of a constellation called Sirius B, Canis Major, uh, Canis uh, uh, Major, and Minor, on the corner of Orion's belt. Orion's mapped out in here too. I'm not gonna try and find them right now. Um, is where the alien civilizations it came from. And again, there's proof of this in everything. If you actually know how to like understand everything, uh, which is just, again, this really simple science, you can just YouTube it. Um, once you understand all these things, uh, you realize you can control minds and how your mind is being controlled and how you necessarily the fact of the matter is that every idea you have in your brain. Oh, cool. Thanks, Peter. Um, you paint us major. Um, yeah, everything that happens manifests because of this science in this dimension. That's why it's so old. Okay, so going back to Tupac Amaru. Um, at the iteration, the last time this planet reached the galactic center was about 25, 26,000 years ago. Some people say it's like 25,980, uh, something around there. Um, and when you'll find this science, just, can we get one of just the space? Yeah. Um, uh, so what you realize is 
for looking at this information, you understand the code of these people that came from uh, other dimensions, hence um, the term hyperdimensional. It means you're on a higher level, in metaphysics also, I want to give you the etymology, they mean you're on a higher level of existence of understanding more things. To be able to do that, your brain chemistry, remember, has to work in a certain way. To understand how that works, you have to understand astrology, you have to understand astronomy, triangulation. All right, so Canis Major, Leonard over here. This is the Pleiadian star system. 25,000 years ago, the last time our planet was in the position it was, it, it, it is in, uh, approaching now, the last time the magnetism of the planet was at the point where it is now, uh, Tupac Amaru had, I think it was 44,000 uh, other Mayans. And through understanding the science, this was again talked to, talk to them, talked to them rather, by a race of indigenous people that came from the Northeast, well, sort of came from all over the world, but they all originated studying all the same things I'm showing you now in almost the same way, except you guys aren't you know, talking, except for the you know, dog in the back. Um, they were doing the same thing, and doing this allowed them to see hyperdimensionally and do things like tra time travel. If you go to the, um, go to the Tentera uh, Avenos helicopters, <laughs> You can just search Tentera Avenos, Avidos Helicopter and get this. Um, and so the last time, so what happens with this planet is everything is again based off of angles and everything else. Uh, you get to Ab Ab A B Y D O S. And this is all, like I spend all my time, I live in New Haven now. And I just like pretend I go to the neuroscience school. And I just like, I look at these and I check the information most of us. You know, like for at least a couple hours. And it's always the exact same thing. I mean, it makes sense at a place where they're training all the next world leaders um, that things like this happen. Okay, so Tupac Amaru uh, gets 44,000 Mayans. Everything on the planet is going crazy. There's a war between Moot and Atlantis, you realize. Uh, understanding this information, or those are real places where people are in similar positions to the ones we're in now, uh, except that their science is much more advanced, so different higher density. Their brains are at a higher density through understanding this chemistry and symbology. Um, so other beings of higher densities came that uh, stay there and live with them in things like spaceships. That's where the term cherubim comes from, it's from the Bible. I don't really have time to read it now unless someone like, wants to say that's not true. I'm proven. That's cool. All right. So, um, yeah, again, it's all explained through the mythology. Tupac Amaru and all these people that are referred to as um, sort of descendants of the true sea of uh, the true tribe of Israel because they carried this symbology. Israel, uh, when you look at the etymology of it, um, comes from the word Osiris, which is, um, you know, really, Osiris is uh, a, a deity. He's in, he's, one of the founders of the universe, and we're saying in the Bible it tells you that there was God, the God energy that exists in everyone that um, can become, that you realize is translated from Osiris into a lot of the languages, uh, a lot of the language we use now for anything involving anything good. So we invoke the same energy. Um, a lot of this comes off of the name of the characters in this zodiac. And again, understanding their relationships, understanding their chemistry, allows your brain to function at a high enough density where you play, reach a place as the Tupac Amaru, the last time our planet was where it is now, uh, which is, so there's all these aliens around, all these beings flowing from other planets, there's all these uh, ancient glyphs with this, and the planet's about, the magnetism is about to flip, the whole planet's going to be destroyed by nuclear war. If the browsing is working faster, I prove up the evidence, pull up the evidence of that. Um, it's in the Bible written about it as Sodom and Gomorrah, but again, when you look at the etymology of these terms, uh, you realize that it was all uh, to tell the story of the world being destroyed at the time of Tupac and Mars. So nuclear war is going to happen, Atlantis, Moot, everyone wants power to control the whole universe, and Tupac and Mars, 44,000 people, jump into a black hole that's mapped out. Go to the um, Gaia, G A I A, Matrix. Did, did Peter Shampoo come? No, no. Um, okay, so the locations you find to do this, this is what you're going to have to do to survive through 2012. Um, or you're going to have to understand a way to live like in a mountain, or you know, survive somehow. But if not, you're, you're going to forget everything and die. The geometry of this is based off of the same calculus as the pyramid. 
as a pyramid and as the calculus you need, the same geometry you need to understand all the constellations, which again raises your brain level to a higher density so you can survive on this planet. Um, so Jim and Mara, they give instructions of this major, this big grid that covers the Earth. And back up, back up. Let me find a good image of you. Uh, luckily for us, we all live in Western Massachusetts, which is the center of that same, you saw the, the, the brighter points on that energy field. Because we live in Western Massachusetts, between Shelburne Falls and Greenfield, we live in a location where one of these black holes is going to essentially open up. An interdimensional star right there. It's going to open up, but you, gotta, you, have to, you have to understand all the science. You have to have your body at a certain density. You have to have your mind at a certain density, because every thought you have becomes something. The science of that is determined, uh, you know, to address the effect of everyone's personality traits. That's why people are getting uh, astrology. If anybody wants a, you know, holistic or astro astrological consultation, you can get at me. You know, they're pretty cheap. Uh, okay, so one of these interdimensional stargates. This is a really a big map. Um, this is Becker Jagans. These aren't the best dudes to talk to about it. One of the best guys to study this with actually lives in Western Massachusetts. He told me he's going to try to come in here. He's not here. His name is Peter Champeau. Look up Geometry of Place. Uh, look up uh, Greenfield Guy. Um, but the science of understanding how energy flows along these what are called ley lines. All these are ley lines or grid points. You can call them matrix. These are the language you need to use to get back to the ancient geometry to understand it. But the science of laying all this out is very simple. It's based on a system of essentially one through nine. And, but if we weren't taught everything retarded, because that's just the nature of the time, because this is the end times, uh, it tells you in the Bible about, you know what I'm saying, the phrases in Isaiah, but just how fucked up and retarded everyone is. Uh, this is why it's important, um, uh, passages like Isaiah, all the like, big like, dramatic revelation verses come up. I'm not going to even take the time to look any up right now, because there's not a lot of time. But um, you say it's scary? Did someone say it's scary? Yeah. You said it's scary? Did someone? Oh. So I'm just going to go back. Go back. We need another. Um, or go to YouTube. Go to geometryplace.com. Yeah, OK. So this is a map that she, Peter Champeau did. Um, names for places in Western Massachusetts, i.e. Goshen, were actually uh, major focal points of energy in ancient Egypt. Again, the science of all this, where these places were, how you find them, how you find like you know the other people, so you can achieve what you need to achieve to survive. This is all explained again through those images of the zodiac, which come from the Temple of Dendera in ancient Egypt, 230 uh, million years old, uh, really even older. People don't know how long this uh, information goes back. Um, how much time is there? Well. Yeah, I, I don't want to cut you off. Yeah. We've got three years left. I know. <laughs> yeah, but no, that's the thing. It's the age of information. It's the age of revealing. The skill of revealing shows that. Um, can you go to the YouTube? The YouTube of uh, Geometry of Place. It's on my, it's on my subscription. Um, you can get this information on YouTube. You know, I'll show you. You can find it yourself. You realize this information. One of the laws of this universe that determines everything uh, because it's controlled by your mind, your mind controls everything. Every physical piece of matter, it, there's no way, I mean, there's like, people like might be in disbelief or whatever, but it's scientifically explained on every level. If you look at the definition of Adam, if you look at the description of Adam in the Bible, because it's all, you know, you have to understand the, uh, the uh, etymology of the mythology to understand the entire story. When you understand Adam, the Adamites are an actual race of people. Uh, they're evidence of this series of genetic experiments that's understood through, when you look at, um, you know, what so-called Jews call Judaism today isn't actually what the Hebrew texts, what the Hebrew science states. Um, because again, everything is the end times. It says in the Bible, in um, Revelations, that, I um, can't remember the exact beginning of the verse, but it's something about the chosen people who are given these laws, who are given the science, who are given these maps, math, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, just keep going through it. Um, Again, these are all symbols you have to understand geometrically that describe points in Western Massachusetts. But to, to be able to survive, to get to these points, you have to be really successful. You have to understand lots of different sciences. You have to understand how to get your own food. You have to understand you have to dodge all these, you know what I'm saying? Like, people like to talk about the FEMA camps, but there's just going to be a lot of really crazy people. Um, 
because essentially people are going to start forgetting things. At this point already, it means one in four people above the age of 60 have Alzheimer's. It's moving down to a significant percentage of people, and of course they, I mean, it's, it's already most likely people starting um, with the medications that are already happening people. People already don't have an actual memory of like their lives. I mean, I don't have for most of them. You have to like understand most of you guys probably don't have actual memory of most of your lives. And you won't actually have actual memory of tonight because you don't understand the science yet. Um, this information all, uh, yeah, it tells you where to go. Yeah, when you understand these symbols, when you understand why the minds do things the way they did, you realize when you look at the face, you have to understand, you know, all the degrees of the face, all the methods in which all the shapes, all the, all the chemicals in your brain that those colors draw up. Every color has a specific effect on your body. That's what the chakra system is all about. Um, no one asked about it to me, so I didn't get into the, the 12 chakra thing. But that's, that's how you understand, again, to uh, reach a higher density. It's the science of your body. Um, Western medicine, as I was saying, puts, in, puts all of us in a position where, through using certain medications, uh, it cuts off the chambers of your brain or the chambers of the Great Pyramid that you have to access through all the symbology that allow you to function at a level where you're going to need to be able to function to survive through the next three years. Um, not only survive, but you probably want to have kids. Um, the more you get into the science, the more you want to have kids. Um, do things like create, because that's the nature of the universe, that's the nature of good natured people. Um, I mean, essentially this is the story of good, uh, good and evil. Uh, not only because, um, I can't really explain the degrees to which certain demons came to the planet, but again, if you understand the etymology of all the names for angels which become, uh, in a lot of cases, names for uh, the corporations we pay money to. Um, I mean, like Nike. So this gives you an idea of where all these uh, specific locations to get specific types of energy, specific transmissions from other planets. Beings will come visit you if you show up here and say the right thing, draw the right color. Um, yeah, this is all, you know, Western Mass is an epicenter for this. And an interdimensional stargate is going to open up that you have to jump into. Um, I'm repeating things, I have to repeat things just make sure you guys understand the terms. Because this is really important information, and you have to work with other people. You can't really deal with people who don't understand this information uh, once you have it. And this is, yeah, if you don't want to do it, if you want to laugh at it, it's cool. It's, uh, your subconscious mind is definitely going to remember it because that's what these, uh, that's, you know, scientifically what happens. That's chemically what happens in your brain. All these images get filed in a specific space in your brain uh, once you see all this. If you don't want to be into it, that's fine. But, you know what I'm saying, you're going to end up like starving to death. It's going to be incredibly dark. You're going to get like eaten alive. But, you know what I'm saying, if you get this, like I'm trying to do, you know, right now is a really important time to get as much gold and guns as you can. Uh, get as much of an understanding of uh, your physiology, the plants in the area. You know what I'm saying, Western Mass is a great place to be because of all the fruit-bearing trees, which um, you also understand through the symbology. Fruit-bearing trees surround every great temple uh, through the ancient world. Not just in Egypt, but because Egyptians went everywhere else in the world millions of years ago. Because they went other places in the universe, in the dimension, millions of years ago and left all this technology for us. Um, yeah, you can do all these things. You gotta back it up, you're just like... <laughs> Jared, thank you so much. Yeah, it's, like, it's serious. Okay, so, do anyone have any questions? I'm just like, this is real. I can prove it all from like, on any level. Talk neuroscience, neurochemistry, talk the Bible, so. Uh, do, do, you, logically. do you think when, when this time comes that you'll be able to move your your brain to a higher density? Um, yeah, well, that's the thing. You can't, words like think, going back to the science of numbers, when you study the Kabbalah, this is like, you know what I'm saying, Madonna broke, started studying the Kabbalah and did everything she did. She did some like weird magical shit. Uh, we can talk to like everyone that started doing these different sciences. The Kabbalah is related to the whole fucked up Chris Brown shit. Because like the next day after that happened, I have friends, you know, some of you guys probably teach middle school where your middle school students not being like, yeah, I'm fucking Chris Brown, you bitch, just like to every girl that walked by. It was like super dark. But through understanding these, these numbers, you understand why specific letters uh, correspond to people's names so they can be controlled that way, they can also control your mind that way because they evoke specific chemicals in your mind that you learn through understanding all this terminology, through understanding these locations, um, through understanding things like the Bible. Um, in understanding your astrological signs, the traits that are imbued to you. Um, yeah, the people who do all these things are connected numerically and therefore chemically, because numbers come from your mind, everything comes from your mind, to committing these actions. You know what I'm saying? So then, things like that. You probably do things. The thing is, most of you guys don't realize that most of you guys aren't thinking your own thoughts most of the time. Not because someone's like standing next to you or there's like a chip in your brain or some shit, which 
you know, you can do that if that's true or not. It's got to be soon. You know what I'm saying? That's like really simple technology. RFID chips. You can look it up and get it on YouTube. There's already people walking around with them inside of them. They, but the way they get them is, again, it goes back to your memory, your mind power. They, what they're doing right now is they're taking people, and mind you, at least, at the very least, one in six people above the age of 45, I'll tell you right now, because we don't have time to get the statistics, uh, the, I can show you the information. At least one of these people on the planet, and like most of you, most, me too, have Alzheimer's, a phase of Alzheimer's disease because of the chemicals in your brain that come to you through food, that come to you through uh, the logos, the things we see, the images we see, uh, the vibes, the uh, information we send to each other. Uh, really, everything is energy, is what you need, that's, you know, that's why. Uh, that's what Einstein talked about. The math of this, when you get into it, proves all of Einstein's theories. These things have been proven. This dude named Oyibo, if you search O-Y-I-B, tells you all this math really simple. Tells you all the mythology really simply. Um, he's this dude who was solving like all these, you know, super deep esoteric equations of Einstein's, of all these uh, so-called great mathematicians. He was 15 because he understood the, understood the simple science. You can get through the Bible, you can get through YouTube, and everything else. I probably straight off your question a little bit. Tell me if I answered it. Tell me what else. Uh, you mean. No, I just want to know if you're going to be able to. <laughs> yes, to yes, yes. The That's the thing. So all of that math proves that everything you believe, believe isn't even a real word. It's another example of being controlled and like believe. Doesn't. People believe shit. They aren't fucking. They're fucking retarded. They just don't do anything. If they if they think they're doing shit, like most of us are thinking. That's the problem all the time. If they're thinking, you realize. Every one of you has realized at some point in your life that once you knew something, it never mattered that you thought it. And all the, probably most of the time you're thinking about it, again, the numbers, the science for all this is in, all this science here. Once you realize that, like, you had an answer, that, you know what I'm saying? It's just like something you have to sit and figure out and just decide, all right, well, I'm not going to be a fuck up anymore. I'm going to get this in on time. I'm going to do this now. Oh, that looks interesting. Let me talk to them. And then that becomes an opportunity for you. That's the science, this chemistry being initiated, it all comes from your mind. So you have to say, I mean, there's no, I'm, gonna, I'm never gonna say I'm not gonna make it through this. Yeah, I'm gonna make it like, well beyond this. Like the specifics of which haven't been entirely, you know what I'm saying? You have to understand a lot of this information to know. But take me for example, I've been in this information six months. People have built, people have built careers off of this information for the past 60, 70 years and incredibly, incredibly wealthy people. Really, all the wealthy people on the planet. Because I'm sure like none of you actually believe that like, you know, anyone can do anything on this planet. Like certain families own shit, like certain groups of people. Um, own shit, and it's not like, you know what I'm saying, it's not like... You can't own the magic, right? You, you can't... Well, if you want to say that, I mean, it sounds kind of corny, I would never say that. But, I mean, no, you can't own magic. Once you think you own magic, it's kind of like... You realize one of the rules of this dimension is that from the design of the temples, Temples. Go to uh, Abydos. A B Y D O S. Hey Gerald, I'm What's gonna that? have to trim, oh. trim you down. Just, yeah. I want to make sure. I want to make sure the last. Yeah. This guy's. This guy's came from far too. So. No, I have a question. What, What's up? No, ask me. Ask me. We got a new question. We answered here. Yeah, yeah. The lecture. You have to have. Can I ask my question? Now? Please. Okay. Um, so let's say you understand the science really well. First, I'll demonstrate the science sort of in my interaction. Let's say, you know, like, I understand the science, okay? Like, okay. Let's say. What's understand mean, though? No one ever means the same thing when they say understand. I, I, I you don't know. I There's a dictionary right here. Just say he does. Wait. What is it? Wait. Say it. But yeah, you have to What I'm with my loved ones, they don't know a thing. Their densities are weak. I want to save them. Can, I, can they survive? You can't. Look up understand. I'm not going to look, look up please, understand. That's a heavy look book. Answer my question. The thing is, when you look at a book like the encyclopedia, no, yeah, you realize, it. you see, it shows you the symbols that come from images like this. This is proof that the Egyptians time traveled. These are images of helicopters, spaceships, hovercrafts. You know what I'm saying? These are all millions of years old. There's different interpretations of this everywhere throughout Western Massachusetts. All these artifacts haven't been found yet. Found yet. You can go to Sturbridge in the museum and see them. And just get the whole science right there. And then, you know, you do whatever you want magically in the next level. And you have to do that. Listen, man. Listen. You have to, to be able to do that. You have to understand the etymology of the word understand. Because you realize, no, you don't. No, you don't. Be, you'll never be able to save anyone if you think you understand something. No, but I you, don't no, no, understand listen. it. But I, so look it up. I look it up. Can I ask a really, really common Keep being retarded. That's cool. Yeah, of course, of course, please. In the beginning, you asked if anyone knew what was going to happen when the um, the electromagnetic would have you shifts on Earth. Yeah, the poles. Cool. You yeah. asked if anyone knew what was going to happen. In really concrete terms, um, ecologically, what have you, 
do you know what's going to happen? Are there forecasts? Okay. Or the thing is, part of, part, yeah, there are, there are. Geometryofplace.com. That's what I'm telling you. If you understand that grid, which is partly explained by the geometry and the stars, if you understand that grid, which is really simple, you understand where all those places are, what all those methods are. Because the artifacts are still there. Egypt, there's a, another like, entrance to the center of the earth. It's called Agartha. It's all super simple, but you have to actually know what you're looking at. You have to actually know the etymology of the words to understand the symbology. If you look and understand, you see the Greek symbols that come from those constellations. And it's those symbols, it's operating with those symbols in your mind that makes it so you don't understand, so you can't save anyone. Because you have to overstand that no one can be saved. You have to be incredibly, like, you have to have all of your own shit intact. That's what uh, Kundalini Yoga is all about. Just the chakra system, which you have to understand. Again, I'll teach you about it if you want. The chakra system, which you have to understand, is all about this. Until you understand all these sciences through etymology, through understanding which is in front of you, you won't be able to save anyone or be saved yourself. Because the safe, that's just a made up. The safe, like, being saved is kind of stupid. It doesn't mean anything. Um, any other questions? That, I, is that specific enough? I get more specific. I was thinking like flood. Oh yeah, floods are gonna happen. The thing is, <laughs> floods are gonna happen. All of that. If you want to know where to get that information, is um, in a lot of times it's in comic books because they're the reason why comic books were produced for our generation was so that we have this information embedded in us already. Um, so it's not actually a scary thing. You just have to really you have to believe all the stories you heard as a child. You have to really understand where those came from. You have to understand the numbers behind them all. You have to understand what to eat, you know, and the numbers behind that explain what to eat, what to think, like how, not what to think, but how to think, what ideas are going to get you places in life, um, what people you're going to have to deal with, and where to go when the magnetism switches. To avoid, like, because, okay, so the science of that is explained by, you know what I'm saying, there's going to be lots of just really hungry people. You know what I'm saying, you can watch Children of Men for a part while it's going to be like that. It's just, what's up? Um, you talked about evil forces visiting. I was wondering what you have to say about evil. What is okay. evil? Okay, evil. Can you define evil in your terms? No, I don't, have, I don't have my own terms for evil. No one has their own terms for anything. That's what you have to understand. All these terms are old. They're 230 million years old. Okay? Um, so my terms, I'm not thinking. I'm not saying, well, this is all science. I mean, I'm combining like the words so you know them, so you can put them in YouTube, so that they're in your mind when you're like, when you're scared because like all the stores are closed, you can't get your food anywhere. You have to know where to get what plants because your grandma's sick, your kids are sick, you gotta save your little niece and nephew. Your little niece and nephew, they're three or two, like mine are, they can't eat the same thing as me. So you can't think just because you survive that your kids are gonna be able to survive. You know what I'm saying? You can't think that because, and also because you didn't know this information, you didn't know what to eat when you were a kid, you didn't know that a vaccination is still working on your body right now. It's a disease, a disease you have deeply embedded in you that makes it harder. It makes it so your vibrational density is at a rate where you have to understand all the science so you can, again, mutate forward, transcend the dimension, jump the whole, it's, everyone's going to have to do different things. But, you know what I'm saying, you already know what those things are. I'm just like trying to remind you of it up here. That's explaining through your yoga.